This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Aradimos. Today we're going to take a look at unknown rate work problems. So here's what they look like. It turns out that we did some work problems in another video, uh, two other Math Guide videos, and what we find is that if you learn the concepts of how uh, work problems fit into uh, an organizational tool like a table, um, that table can be useful in solving problems that are slightly different than the basic level work problem. Okay, with this problem uh, as an example, let's see how it's different from a basic level word problem. So right away you could see that we have uh, a person and we know exactly how long it takes for them to complete a job. We also know when two people work together, here in this case it's Lee and Chris, that it takes them 15 minutes to do the job together. Now normally with uh, work problems we don't know uh, how long it's going to take for two people or three or four people to do a job. Uh, a lot of times we know individual rates and we use those individual rates to calculate how long uh, a group of people can, uh, how long it'll take for them to uh, complete a job. So what's different about this is that you can see that we know one person's uh, individual rate and then of course we know the time it takes for two people to do the job. So in other words we don't know a person's individual rate. Okay, uh, with that being said, now that we know how it's different, let's see how a table is used to solve this problem. So all the work problems look the same when it comes to an organizational table, at least the ones that I use. Uh, I create three columns and what I like to do is I put the uh, headings right above and for instance here it's always going to be rate, it's always going to be time and uh, work over here in the last column. So now the actors in this problem are Lee and Chris, so we'll say that's L and K for this Chris. And let's see, what do we know? We know that Lee takes 24 minutes to do one job, so if you know anything about work problems, you know you take the reciprocal for Lee's rate. Uh, that's how much he finishes in one minute. Uh, we also know that it takes 15 minutes if they work together. So that's how much time it takes them when they work together. And we don't know Chris's rate. We don't know how long it takes for him to fix a job, you know, to uh, actually finish the job. So if we knew how much time it took for Chris to finish the job, we would take the reciprocal of that time. So what I'm going to do is say we don't know the rate. So I'm going to say it's 1 over x is the rate. In other words, it takes Chris x minutes to complete a job by himself or herself, depending on how Chris works here. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is, after we set up the table like we've just have, is multiply across. Now, of course, this is 15 over 1 and 15 over 1. Multiply fractions by numerators being multiplied and denominators being multiplied. Here I'm multiplying and I'm getting 15 over x. Okay, so there's the table. And it turns out that this is going to be extremely helpful because we take... 15 24ths, that's Lee's work, we add it to Chris's work, which is 15 over x, and together we know that those two people are going to complete one job. All right, for the purposes of dealing with rational expressions, I'm just going to uh, calculate what the common denominator is, and it's really just 24x. So I need to multiply this fraction by x over x. I need to multiply this fraction by 24 over 24. Okay, so that's going to give me new fractions here. So I'm going to get 15x over 24x. Here I'm going to get 360 over 24x. So this turns out to be 15x plus 360 all over 
24x. Okay. So let's see, what else do we have here? So uh, what I'm going to do is now multiply both sides of this equation by 24x. And you're wondering why I'm doing that. Well, if I'm dividing the whole left side by 24x, well, I'm going to multiply by 24x to cancel that. So you can see that the 24x here is going to cancel with that 24x, which is the point. So I'm going to get 15x plus 360 equals 24x. So I'm going to need some more room, so I'm going to scroll down a bit. All right. So in order to solve this uh, equation, I'm going to subtract 15x from both sides. And I'm going to get 360 equals 9x. And I'm going to then last divide by 9. And I'm going to get 40 and x is 40. Okay, so <clears throat> it's important to understand what this 40 represents. Of course, we're moving back to the table and x represents how much time it takes for Chris to do the job alone, hence the rate 1 over x or 1 over 40. So how much work does Chris finish in one minute? Well, 1 40th of the job and it takes 40 minutes therefore to do the job alone. So if I scroll back up a little bit, you can see that was our original question. The question was, how long would it take Chris to do the job alone? Therefore, the answer is 40 minutes. Okay, thanks for watching this instructional math video. Uh, make sure you check out our other interactive quizzes and our text-based lessons. Take care.